What's up, Liron here. Thank you for joining me in another video. And if you've been following me and other artists, you know that we tend to share our best work for the most part. What you see is the accumulation of many years of experience, trial and error. Now in this video, what I want to share with you is some of my very first uh, watercolor successes, very humble successes in the beginning, uh, where things started to click for me and I started um, feeling like I have some kind of a grasp over this very elusive uh, medium of watercolor, okay? Uh, I also shared in the past my worst paintings and some of the very first works I have. In this one, I want to share some of the very initial successes I had and maybe give you an idea of what you can expect when you get started. So let's do that. Okay, so this is the painting I have to start with because this was the very first time when I started feeling like I'm creating that three-dimensional impression. Now, if you look at the technique up close, it's really not that impressive. The paper I was using is quite flimsy and cheap. This is a Cotman um, type of paper. It's pulp paper, it's not really cotton. Um, and the, the washes are uneven, but the impression the way that shadow and light work. That's what I'm very pleased with. I did this one, I believe, immediately after watching one of Stan Miller's tutorials here on YouTube that are excellent, uh, and he gave me that inspiration and motivation to give this one a try. Um, and it's a very good reference to work from because there are sharp contrasts, and you can very clearly see the different shapes of the facial features. And it's just a good reference to work with. Now, if you notice, I wasn't dark enough. I could have done, gone much darker, but that's an issue also with the paint and papers. But for the first time ever, I felt like I'm getting that realistic impression I was uh, so um, so um, desperate to get, I would say, in the beginning. So that's the first one. It's in color. It's based on a black and white reference. And I love it. I love how I used a bit of red here to show the hair in the shadow. Uh, and it just works really well for me. Even I didn't have that blending technique down really back then. So you can see a lot of mistakes. Uh, but other than that, just really work that I'm proud of. Let me show you another one. Uh, this is another work I'm really proud of. And you can see the date here, the 29th of um, June uh, 2016. Uh, the previous one, I believe, was from yeah 11th of June. So this is uh, shortly after. Uh, and uh, th with this one, I started, I was on a roll of doing a lot of monochromatic uh, portraits and, and just paintings in general because I realized that to improve my uh, perception of values and, and light and shadow I have to do that uh, and you can see here that I'm a bit lacking in the mid values but the darks and lights work pretty well uh, the drawing funny enough isn't as accurate the nose is a little too long and the face isn't as accurate but I did get the impression I wanted uh, as well as the freckles that I was wondering how I could get that effect so I just went for it uh, and sometimes in these humble beginnings and first experiments, there is a lot of charm because doing things uh, in an unfamiliar territory shows a lot about your, uh, I guess, artistic side, maybe, because you're not uh, blinded by techniques and habits. You're just going for it. So there is a lot of charm to these. Notice the beautiful highlights here on the lips. I'm not even sure yet I painted around this. I, I thought initially that it may be like uh, opaque paint or... Uh, masking fluid, which I barely use, but I think I actually uh, negative painted around that area. Also, the nice glitter or sparkle on the earring. Uh, this was a really major turning point for me and my style and understanding how to work with watercolor. And again, you can see that the, the technique isn't perfect. There are a lot of streaks that are visible, brush strokes and brush marks. By the way, I think I used my flat brush that I barely use uh, for this one, uh, but it still works as an impression. Uh, let me show you another one. I saved this one for last because it's quite stylized. I believe this is um, an Israeli uh, artist, like musician, uh, though I don't remember his name, I have to admit. Uh, this is a bit more stylized because you get pen and you also have, if you look up close, some colored pencil or maybe it was, uh, yeah, some colored uh, brown pencil. Uh, so it's more stylized, but I was able, I think, to capture the essence of the person. Uh, and I do think I was able to uh, push the darks to be as dark as necessary. And I did achieve some nice and interesting mid values here on the face and here as well. Uh, and it's just a, overall a very accurate work that I was very, very proud of uh, at the time. Uh, so anyway, these are all the three paintings I wanted to share with you. Just really humble beginnings. And this is how you get started. And this is the type of work you can expect to create after, I don't know, several months 
into watercolor, depending on, on your past experience, maybe a year, uh, it doesn't really matter. Don't get too caught up on time and where you should be. Uh, it's more important to just continue uh, along the way and to continue challenging yourself and uh, leaving your comfort zone. Because I see a lot of people that just paint kind of the same thing over and over and over again. And I really challenged myself to work on landscapes and portraits and still life and all sorts of subjects that um, more, some of them are more common, some of them less common, but I think it is important to do that. So as long as you are on your path, uh, you will eventually start achieving initial successes like this, these ones. And then after looking at them after a couple of years, you'll see all of your mistakes glaring uh, in front of you and you'll know and you'll see the way you improved, which is why I also recommend you keep each and every painting you do forever. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this one and now let's wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if there is any other kind of work by me that you want to see. Uh, maybe I heard a lot of people want me to remake uh, an old failed painting. I may do that at some point, but let me know in a comment down below what you want to see because that's what I'm going to film. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. This really helps me to promote it on YouTube and it helps it reach more people. And also, if this is uh, by any chance the first video of me you see, don't forget to subscribe. I have tons of other videos of sharing my artwork, showing full painting demos and processes and all sorts of things that I think you'll enjoy, watercolor, drawing and sketching related. So thank you so much and I will see you again in another vid real soon.